In this video, we're going to talk about how we define central tendency. And uh, the whole purpose of descriptive statistical methods is to organize and summarize um, a specific set of scores. And perhaps the most common method for summarizing and describing and organizing um, any kind of distribution is to find that one single value that most defines the average score. And, and we can use that one perfect average score to represent the entire distribution. It says a lot about where the scores pile up. And in statistics, this concept of average or representativeness is called central tendency. And, and central tendency is um, the statistical measure that attempts to define or determine the single value, usually located in the center of a distribution, that's most typical or most representative of the entire set of scores. And the, the problem is that no single measure produces a, a central representative value in every situation. Take a look at these different distributions up, up top here. We have a, a relatively normal distribution. We would say, well, the average score is right about there, you know, kind of in the middle. Um, but, but what about this one where we have a negatively skewed distribution, right? So the bulk of the scores are piling up here and then tapering off towards the tail. So where's our, our middle there? You know, is it here? Is it, well, you know, technically the middle should be here, but that's not really representative of, of the most representative of all the samples. And what about this one? We have a bimodal distribution here. So the exact middle or average we write here, but very few people are actually scoring here. Remember, keep in mind that the frequencies um, go up, right? So this is a high water mark and this is a high water mark. But so, you know, using either mean, median, or mode for for all uh, measures of central tendency is going to be misleading and so we have to be very choosy and specific on when we're going to use mean, when we're going to use median, and when we're going to use mode because um, of all these different problems defining whatever the center of the distribution is. So to deal with these problems, statisticians have developed three different methods um, in hopes of measuring the central tendency. And again, they're going to be mean, median, and mode. And, and this isn't too radically different than what you learned in grade school about um, finding averages, just different ways to do it. So we're going to try to decide which of these three measures is best for any particular distribution and keeping in mind that the general purpose of central tendency is to find the single most representative um, score. Okay, so let's start with the first one with mean. The formula for the population mean is mu equals sum of x divided by population um, size. Right, and then for a sample, it's going to be mean equals sum of x divided by n, little n, denoting that it's more of a sample. So this one is the population, and this one is if you're dealing with a sample. And means are the um, arithmetic average, right? You, you, you compute it by adding all the scores up in the distribution and dividing by that number of scores. And, and the mean for the population is identified by the Greek letter mu, right? And that, that's this one um, right here. And then we have, for a sample, it's mean. Now, in um, other statistics textbooks, and you might see it also um, as this, right, X bar. Uh, I use mean and, and mu um, in all the literature and research reports. You're going to see mean and mu, but don't don't get too concerned if you see x bar. What they're saying that's just the average, the mean for the distribution, and the mean is for distribution is the sum of all the scores divided by the number of scores. Okay. Okay. So if I had um, four scores, right? So my x is equal to four and six and three and seven. I would just add all those up, right? Um, so mu equals sum of x divided by n. So 20 divided by, and I have four scores. So my mu would be five. Okay, next is the median, and the median is the midpoint of the list, and more specifically, the median is the point with the measurement scale below which 50% of the scores of the distribution are located. So you're going to um, just divide it right in half. And so if I have a bunch of numbers, and so my raw scores are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, and seven, I can just start ticking off um, numbers, lowest and highest, and my median is is four. All right, but what happens if I have um, a number that, or if I have a set of scores that have more than one center, if you will, right? So I can take off one and 10 and two and nine and three and eight and four and seven. Uh oh, then I have five and six. Well, I just get the middle. So my median then would be 5.5. To find my mode, I'm just finding the most um, popular number, right? The most customary fashion or, or popular style. So it, mode is the score or category that has the greatest frequency, right? So if I have scores like one, two, two, three, three, four, 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 and five, six, six, seven, 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 well, I actually had four fours. So my mode, the most reoccurring number out of um, that whole set of data points would be four. So again, mode is just the most popular, the most, um, the, the score with the highest frequency. In most of the statistical analysis that we're going to run, we're going to use mean. Mean is probably the most popular one that statisticians use, but that doesn't mean that we always use mean. Median is really good when you have extreme scores or skewed distributions, right? So if you have a really strong positively skewed distribution, or if you have a really strong negatively skewed distribution, you're going to use um, mean or median, sorry, um, or if you have outliers, right? If you have um, extreme scores, you're going to use um, median because it gets rid of the the um, the skewness, if you will. When we would use mode is really for ordinal data um, or nominal data because it doesn't make sense to split it, right? So if I'm doing the end of party, end of semester party, and I'm saying, okay, what does everybody want to eat at the end of the semester? Do you want to have pizza, Chinese food, subs, or potluck? Um, I wouldn't just say, oh, let's have pizza Chinese, and where, you know, you take a big pizza and you just push a whole bunch of lo mein on top of the pizza pie, or half sub, half pizza. It'd be weird. So um, with mode, you really want to say, okay, how many people want to have pizza? Raise your hand. Five people raise your hand. And want to have Chinese, and two people raise your hand, and, and subs. Ten people raise their hands. Well, we're going to go with subs then, right? It's the most popular number out of all of them. And the overall... Um, takeaway with this video is that central tendency is is fun it's just trying to find the most representative score um, in just different ways